YouTube, how you doing? Good afternoon. Today is April 2nd, about 6 o'clock. Uh, I just want to wish you guys a happy Easter and hope you had an happy Easter and uh, got to reflect some time with friends and family and thought about why we celebrate Easter and what's the reasoning for that. But uh, So yeah, we got the truck going again. Now I want to talk with you for a second. I was having fuel pump pub, fuel pump problems before and the trucks fast that used to be on it kept shutting down on me and uh it would rely on the stock fuel system because that was a low pressure pump that just aided the stock lift pump so it only ran out about 14 psi so you probably saw that in past videos that my pump was only at 14 psi but now we got a new air dog system and now this air dog is the original air dog so it's the 150 it's not the 4G or the Air Dog 2. Uh, so it is a 150. We got it all ran up. So I just want to go over that for a couple seconds. So now, because there was a fast already on this truck, the person that put a fast on drilled a suction tube hole down into the tank right by the stock sending unit. So we just tied into that so I didn't have to drill the hole for this truck. So we tied into that connection on top which saved a little bit of time. I didn't have to drop the tank or lift the bed off, which was nice. And we also tied into the return line, which it went into the filler neck. So that was easy. Uh, we did have to, so all fuel systems now run a half inch line. The old fuel system ran at a 516, so we had to buy a couple of brass adapters with bulbs. Uh, barb adapters and stuff so we got that all on and everything so let me pop the hood here I'll show you I'll go over the whole install I have a couple videos from the day I was installing it but it started to rain and I just wanted to get it done so I didn't film the whole entire thing I'm sorry about that but here's our air dog 150 it's the original air dog not the air dog 2 or the air dog 2 4G <laughs> So we're just going to open this up. I'll show you what's on the inside of this. So here we have our wiring harness for the truck. Air Dog did switch back to the black hose which is much better than that blue stuff they were using before. Our mounting plates, which are just black, the texturized black, which they went to now. We got our hardware kit, all our bolts and stuff. And here we do have our pump. and our installation manual. So before we get to putting everything on, we're gonna pull the existing one off. But hey, can you see? Repping, repping the merch, baby. So there you can see the new connection into the pump right there, and it is a easy lock push lock uh, connection 90 that goes back with a half inch line comes down to the frame rail you can see right here runs along there and now air dog does recommend you install the pump on the inside of the frame rail now I like the look of it on the outside and it's just easier to get to so I did install it on the outside here's from the pump to the motor, the return lines on the back side of this right there, the 90, there's the model number and everything. This is the feed from the tank, you can see and that's the return from the pump going back to the thing, so you can follow that a little bit. Now it gets to here. And this is where we ought to tie into the 516 line so you can see some adapters and some clamps. 
So I know it is not the cleanest install. It's probably a little restrictive to the 516th line, but it's gonna work for now. The truck runs great, better than ever. And I just want to talk to you that we will be redoing this the correct way when this truck gets restored and all the rust gets taken care of. We're gonna lift the bed, put a sump on it in the tank, clean the tank, make sure everything's good. This truck is going to get completely redone here in about a month. It's April 2nd. About the second week in May, it'll start getting redone. But, uh, yep. You can see I cleaned up, uh, yep it's leaking a little bit we gotta take care of that but uh yep so i did do this so the truck is running better so the first step was to pull the existing sorry i should have talked to you the first step was to pull the existing wiring harness out so that was pretty simple the old style did tie into some crazy stuff fuse box and all sorts of tapped into some sensor, oh, the fuel shut off solenoid under the hood. It was just a shitty design. So the new design was nice. Comes with all the relays. It goes right into the fuel box. Wire, positive, negative. Comes back. A little one goes in. Here, I'll show you. There's a little adapter that comes back and goes into the fuse box panel in the truck, which is right here. And the existing fuse that was in it let me show you just a second so the existing fuse that was in it number 10 which goes right there so it goes through both now and that just takes its place so a nice easy clean design there but uh yeah so it was real simple install so after we got the wiring we got the harness ran all the way back connect my oil sensor to the top of it Got that all tucked away and nice and neat. Then we had to deal with the fuel line. So we cut the two on the back side. That was 516. Cut it off the stock housing where it went to before uh, filter housing. Got the housing off. So everything was off of the old stuff then. We put the bypass, the new brass bypass system on. Which is right down in there. You can see it right here. Which connects the top of the injector return line attaches to that and that's the that's from the pump return line the injector return line ties into it and that goes all the way back to the back of the truck to the tank so that was pretty simple install we just put all the connections together the push lock fittings now i do find my brother was helping me with this so thanks to him but with our experiences with push lock you could say we found that it is easier if you heat up the push lock a little bit they get fresh oil they recommend diesel fuel and oil but i think oil works the best get that on the fittings put a little bit inside the hose and then warm up that push lock hose with a little torch a little bit not so it's melting or burning or anything just so it's nice and warm and flexible because it is 40 degrees out we just got snow last night but then you push that on in one swift movement and then good to go otherwise you get stuck halfway and that's just a pain in the ass to get on but all the connections went well the install was pretty simple like i said i had to do it over two days we got it all done and then we realized shit we got to get connectors and a and a was already closed then so we got to go back the next morning then take care of it so i've been busy the last couple days with family stuff hanging out with family i'm home for easter break from college so you know how that goes family's most important but so we got some time to work on and got the fuel system in yeah looks good it hangs a little bit lower i can tuck it up and i will here soon but it's a little lower than i want it to be but we'll get it tucked up you can see all the nasty salt on the side of my truck yep so I uh, just wanted to take a couple minutes and go over that. It's a real simple install. Fast does a wonderful job explaining everything in the book with pictures and whatnot. This truck does have a fast, which was a simple install too. But 
Yep. Just wanted to go over that with you guys. Uh, upload a video, just explain what's going on and what I'm up to. So, this fast or this air dog, sorry, was $5.99 instead of the new air dog 2 4 G's. I think are right around $7.40, and the air dog 2s are $700. So, you can get away with running a $599 fuel system. So. You don't need to expend the big bucks for the newer design. It is cooler. They do have a couple different things, but it's a little smaller and whatnot. But this is going to work well. Now it makes around 43 pounds of boost and a 2500 RPM range and a fourth gear pull. So, truck's running real well. Can't complain. Just waiting for spring to get here to do some more things. I did notice when I pulled the valve cover off that it does have quite a bit of valve lash so they got to get readjusted so that's going to be the next thing next for sure that's the next major concern so we're going to get that taken care of but uh yep moving along you know how it is everything's slow unless you spend the big bucks you can't really speed anything up I do have the bushing kit which needs to get on and I want to order four new shocks for the thing and the list goes on and on but we got to get what's fixed before we can buy all the fancy performance parts because you know if you buy all those parts and put it on above stuff that's broken and weak stuff's gonna break so we're gonna get that taken care of but uh and that's gonna wrap it up for this video i just wanted to say thank you and hope you guys had a great easter with your family and the grind keeps going the truck's gonna be something this summer and yep uh, dirty Diesels, May 19th in uh, Reading, PA is holding a dyno, so we're looking at running there. $75 for three pulls. This truck will be on the dyno. I even have a surprise coming on the mail, in the mail on the way right now to help uh, boost those dyno numbers up. You can say, I'm sure you can guess what it is. But, uh, yep. So. I'll talk to you guys soon. Next video will be next weekend. I'm going to try to get the valve lash, get all the parts ordered to do that. Or I'm going to take it to my buddy's house to do it. So stay tuned and uh, keep working hard and killing it. And see you later, YouTube.